what's happening guys we're back with another one here i record every service call i, I do but uh, most of the time it's something simple uh, capacitor which i have videos on a drain line or something like that so um, i don't post everything that i do but if i have a juicy one juicy one like this one here i think it's gonna be hopefully uh i do post it so stay tuned Okay, you guys, we have a train gas furnace uh, hanging in the garage here. The call is that the blower motor is not turning on. Um, he had a power surge come through his house and take out a bunch of plugs, uh, took out the garage door opener, and I'm assuming it took out something inside this uh, this this furnace here, maybe the blower or something like that so we're going to get it opened up and check it out and see what we got nice enough to set up the ladder for me we got a train xr80 looks like it was put in 2015 so fairly new up see what we can do okay so the unit set for cool right now um, pretty sure the five minute time delay is up by now Let's see what we got here so the door switch is uh, looks like somebody put a zip tie around it I'm going to go across the common and red and we have 29 volts, 24 volts. Let's see common and yellow, we have nothing. Could be in a time delay still though, so nothing on our G call. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes, go inside, check out the thermostat, see if we're in a time delay still. I'm assuming we are and uh, We'll continue the video. Okay, so the thermostat was set to the off position. Uh, so, should have a call now. To our G. Let's see. Okay, so we got 24 volts to our G. Uh, let's see if we're getting anything to our yellow. We got 24 to our yellow. But still no blower. Get a little spin here. Let's see if it's a cap. Not not a cap issue. All right. So now that we know we got 24 volts going to the board to tell it to turn on, turn the blower on. <clears throat> I pulled the disconnect outside. The, the outside unit probably would be running right now. So I'm going to check and see if this board is actually putting out uh, high voltage here. We got our cool terminal for our blower. It says cool H. Let's stick that in here for now. And I'm gonna check power coming out of that board going to that blower. See uh see what we got here. Okay. Can actually go straight to ground. And wow, you guys can see that we got 23, 23 bolts going to our blower. Okay, those are outside unit just kicked on. <clears throat> I thought I pulled the disconnect, but maybe I didn't. Let me go shut that down. But you can see we got 24 volts. That's not enough juice to, to put out uh, for that blower motor. So that's going to be our issue. Uh, I do have one of those in my truck, so I'm going to get it swapped out. Okay guys, we got the new board here. OEM board. I'll take out the old board and put the new one in.
Unbearable. Yeah, you'll be standing outside in that hot sun then. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll stay in there waiting until October. Yeah, I know. And then we'll finally get some uh some cooler weather and more yeah. leaves. Yeah. More pollen. Well, I say we had a blowout, that's for sure. Holy smokes. We do fry the board? Yep, fry the board. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was telling him. He was asking me if there's anything I could put on the, on there to to help it prevent from getting you know surges. And I told him that I spoke to you about it, and that you sounded like you had it figured out with the electrician, because you know that whole house uh, surge protector is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of a lot of, a lot of expenses. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, for real. The TVs and everything else could have been the microwave, the whole thing. Because the uh, breaker for the microwave had fit too. Oh, for the microwave too? Yeah, so uh, you, you know that. I wonder if he's tried to use his microwave since then. Well, I. Yeah, let me try it. Never know. Man, you guys, this uh, that board took a big cock eye. Flew out in the back side. So I definitely uh, would say my diagnosis of the board is correct. So we'll get this new board in here and uh, fire this fire this system up and test it out, cooling, and uh, should be good to go. Breaker, yeah, maybe the breaker's off to it. That's probably what it is. guy watches a bunch of properties for people and uh, he watches this property for a gentleman a doctor is not not here right now just getting a low voltage hooked back up and um, apply power and be able to fire this thing up some lights it's gonna be in a five minute time delay and then it should fire up Outside unit. 
Little train straight cool. XR, nothing too fancy. That one was a bad board, uh, the control board for the furnace. There's no bypassing that. You can't bypass that. You shouldn't bypass that. Don't even think about bypassing that because it has a lot of safeties in there. I had one in my van. I got it swapped out, tested out in cooling, tested it in heating, and uh, he is good to go. So I uh, hope you guys learned something from that one. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Peace.